Um, and it, it, it is asking for a perimeter. So we, we technically don't really need to solve for these two missing sides, but that, that would be the second method. I'm gonna show two different methods on this one. So what, what I would do is I would say, all right, we got this, uh, we got a long side and then two short sides that make up the long side because they're made up for, of rectangles, so they're, everything's parallel here. So if I look and start with the 60 meters, and I'll do it in purple, uh, then this, this unknown value could combine with the 30 meters right here to make up the purple side. And if we move these across, we can see that, I mean, if I'd drawn this better, it would make up the 60 meters right there. So we say the green, that's 30 right here. So to find that red side, what we're gonna do is take the long one, which is made up of the other two. So I'd say, hey, you're, gonna, you're gonna subtract the shorter of the two and that's gonna give you the other side, which in this case is red. So 60 minus 30, that's gonna be 30, uh, which means that this length is 30 meters right here. So, so we're kind of moving these, these side lengths here and here over to compare it with this longer side. And we're gonna do the same thing with, uh, with these horizontal side lengths as well. So I'd say, all right, we're gonna start with the 230 here. That's the long side. Now this 180, do it in red again, that would be this much of the 230, that's 180. So this other length right here, this one, this unknown value would be the remaining length right there. Now you could write a fact family if you needed to or prefer to. You could say, well, I know 180 plus this uh, unknown side length is gonna equal 230 meters. Well, it's still gonna translate into a subtraction problem which is 230 minus the 180. And this will equal the unknown side length in orange that I have right there. So 230 minus 180, let's go and set this up. 230 minus 180, I need a zero minus zero, that's not hard, but three minus eight, I gotta borrow from the hundreds. 13 minus eight is five. One minus one, that's zero. So it just becomes a 50 right there. So this, this length in orange becomes 50, 50 meters. So now that I have all the side lengths uh, of this shape, this composite shape, I just need to add all of them, all of them together. So I'd say, I, I always start with the left. So I'd start with that purple side length, the 60. And then I would add the top one, which is the 230. That's a blue side length for me. Then the 30 there on the right. And then the first red side, which is 180. And then the other red side length, which is 30. And then the orange side length, which is 50. And we're just gonna add all these together. Now, I have these stacked all in one, uh, one place, more for the sake of time right now. Um, but if you wanted to, if you needed to, you could do these two at a time, right? You could do 60 plus 230 find that sum and then add 30, find that sum, then add 180. Um, and that may take more time, but it may be more convenient for you. So don't feel bad if that's something that you have to do. So I'm, but just for me, I'm just gonna, again, I'm just kind of um, expediting the process. I'd say, okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll finish this off right here. So you'd say, okay, uh, zero plus zero plus zero, lots of zeros added together, just zero. And then uh, I'm in the tens place value, so six plus three is nine, plus three is 12, plus eight is 20, plus three is 23, plus five is 28. And I uh, carry the two into the hundreds place value. It's just two plus two plus one, which is five. So that's 580 meters is the perimeter, which is what we wanted on this one. Now, there's another way to do it, though. And as it turns out with perimeter, if we use this method, we don't actually have to solve for those missing sides. And so some students look at this as more convenient, but sometimes it's more complicated as well. So what we do is we say, it's almost kind of the opposite of what we did in this first method, is instead of solving for these missing values, what I would know is that if I took this length and this one right here and I moved it over here, it also makes up the purple side length. 
So instead of looking at 30, which is just one of the lengths, it's just 60 meters, which matches this one over here. And we're going to do the same thing with that top side length, right? The 230 right here. It's also comprised of the 180 and also this unknown side length. I mean, we know it's 50 now, but uh, if we didn't know that in the beginning, 180 here, the missing side length here, which means that this whole length right here is also the same as this top one, which makes this one also 230 meters. Now, this also means that we're going to be adding less numbers. So I'd say, okay, we'll start with the left. That's 60. Then I would add the top number there, which is 230. And then the one on the right, another 60. And then the bottom one, which is now 230. So it's kind of like when we see two rectangles shaped like this, to find the perimeter, it's, it's almost like looking, if you can see these two long side lengths, uh, they're just kind of doubled here on the edges. And yeah, when we add these together, um, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but it's just gonna be the same sum right here, it's 580 meters. So yeah, we get the same perimeter, either one of these methods that we use, uh, but you have to determine which one makes more sense to you because uh, uh, even though this one may seem more convenient, it, again, it may be more complicated.